Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Control here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host Max. So I do understand that the previous episode was kind of a fiasco uh, as I was lost all over the place and we eventually managed to get to the brand new location where we need to get to the janitor's office regarding the maintenance in order to help us uh, remove the lockdown. So we're gonna see how this is gonna turn out. I have also figured out that I can switch the weapon module between this sort of shotgun and the regular pistol by pressing the F key. So yeah, the F key. So we're gonna see what's gonna be waiting for us because I'm quite sure this whole region is gonna be extremely hostile towards us. So let's see how my aim is gonna improve or maybe not, I don't know. It's like all over the damn place. Seriously. Okay. At least we know that at, at this distance or range we can effectively deal with them. I have to be careful here because there is the fuel container. And we're getting the rangers with the assault rifles. At least there's none of those guys with those uh, grenade launchers which are guided, which I still kind of don't understand, but okay. So it looks like the shotgun variant of our primary weapon is using like two to three bullets at a time. I just don't understand what the hell happened here. It just suddenly exploded. I did not see some sort of warning that it was on fire or whatnot. So, okay, I'm gonna have to be a bit more careful then. It looks like we are approaching the janitor's office. You know what? Let's switch up to the shotgun. Uh, it's kind of more crowded here. Uh, is that it? Is that the janitor's office? We have quite a lot of items which can be used as potential projectile. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's gonna be more than that. Yaha, yeah, 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 yeah. you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I'm going to tell you that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, Berkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up and we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. 
the works on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seat's gonna rattle. But don't worry at all, you'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Okay, honestly, if we would not have the subtitles, I would have like 25% idea of what the hell he's talking about. Okay, what a mess. Burn the trash. Burn the trash. Throw it in the fire. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer. Okay, Not in that the guy reindeer. is freaking me the hell out. And there seems to be... Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. An explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. Okay, how did the elevator know that I need it? I'm not sure if this is semi-horror or something, but certain things are definitely freaking me the fuck out, to be honest. That's a whole lot of these cards. It's like those Walmart cards or something for those really oversized people. Okay, hold on. That, that's a person, actually. Or, these are actual people, people. They, they have the weird uh, gizmo on them, which prevents them it's from... It's dangerous out here, lady. Go see Chief Arish. He's just inside. He'll help you. Okay. So they do have that red hue, though. Okay, what happens if we do... We're gonna have, like, a teleportation spot, right? Uh, so I'm assuming we need to go into the control room. Oh my god, there are still people floating around. This is, like, the weirdest... Uh, this is like the weirdest it movie or, or video game almost like everything floats right Any, anyone else where the hell am i supposed to go man i swear to god the orientation in this game this this is gonna kill it for me uh coolant furnace chamber is, is there something which i'm missing or what the hell is the deal? Not crazy about the red color. Cool thing is that she has like an unlimited cardio or stamina. So that's at least making it bearable. Cooling water. Am, am I just running in circles like a total moron? Okay. Well, once again, I'm lost. And I'm gonna probably have to put a warning besides the potential for epilepsy that I will get lost in this game. Okay, where the hell did I claim that spot or something? Cause I swear to God, I'm lost. I don't even see those people who were there before. I did claim the, the spot, and, and like, suddenly, everything is gone. Or everyone is gone. Elevator, that seems to be locked because it's all red. Wait, why are there now more people floating? I saw initially just, like, one person. Where are these guards that were here? This is freaking me the hell out. Okay, so I, I see them. We must have came from here. So, uh, missions. 
Security booth. Where is security booth? Control room. Coolant pumps. Security room. Okay. Furnace chamber. So, so am I supposed to like leave and head out here? Central maintenance. Field training. I'm not sure I'm heading the right way. I feel like if I just continue into that open space there, there's just gonna be a bunch of enemies. And I'm not supposed to go through here. I got no idea what that is though. But I don't intend on finding out. Okay. What did that do? I think we saw this room in some sort of vision before. It's hard to tell. Department of Maintenance. Yield training. Black rock processing. Sector elevator. Yeah, I don't need the elevator right now. What we do need... Okay, I'll take this. That's for sure. You never know when you need some sort of component or something. Um, the lighting in this game is just beautiful. And if I can get rid of that uh, director's override, this would make for such a cool snapshot, honestly. Uh, okay. Well, hold on. That's actually a decent idea. I do need to look for some potential... Snapshots. Okay, and now we can put it back. So I honestly have to look for a way up, I think. Although I'm confused beyond uh, anything and everything. I cannot seem to find any sort of control booth. So this is extremely entertaining for me. Uh, some coolant pumps, we cannot go there yet. Looks like we can descend into these sectors and from there on out we can head into certain direction. But I swear to God, I, I don't know where the hell am I supposed to go from here. That's so weird. What happens if I were to talk to you? Why, why can't I talk to none of the NPCs? Uh, okay. If I was someone who can navigate through this map, where the hell would I go? Or what the hell would I do? Because I swear to God, I do not see any sort of point of entry. Central maintenance energy conversion. Okay, that seems to be locked. Right? Yeah, that's awesome. And this one is what? Elevator. So that thing is locked as well. Uh, maybe I need to reach like a higher floor in order to get up there. Okay, we're gonna go with the pistol for now. Youth training. Oh, what's the worst thing that can happen, right? A good defense. There seems to be... Uh, documentation. And I should start going through this stuff, huh? Uh, we have... What do we have? Thresholds, examination of paranatural topics. Uh, the oldest house is a place of flux. Thresholds appear with no warning. What the threshold will contain is a question we can only answer once it manifests. The widely accepted theory is that thresholds are dimensions vibrating on a didacted frequency different from our own when these frequencies match the threshold will manifest in the oldest house which acts as a didacted others theorize thresholds are parallel universes or possibly our own reality at a different point in time some believe our collection of altered materials affect the house or attracts the thresholds we do know for certain that thresholds are not permanent 
eventually their frequency will shift some believe earth itself is just another threshold connected to the oldest house which is actually rooted in some other reality this theory while impossible to disprove causes didacted and those who learn it so we actively hide it or something uh yep okay or deny it uh, field training actor complained i'd like to file a f uh, formal complaint the unauthorized use of my voice in a state of quality that i did not agree on the fact that they were planning to use material from what i thought was a rehearsal was not communicated to me at all had it been i would have disallowed the use of those recordings i want use of the range field training course recorded messages to halt immediately i will not stand for this humiliation among my peers i will go to hr with this if necessary okay and hotline North Moore was director before me I never wanted his job I never wanted power I purposefully avoided it didn't trust it didn't want to rely on it North Moore was all about power a man like an explosion hungry for authority for order, for more, until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end, contain the situation. Northmoor never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmoor. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there, had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. Okay, Ricky. Once again, not really sure what we are getting into in here. There's quite a lot of stuff which we can use as throwables. So, <clears throat> so I, I just read this. Welcome to the Ranger Field Training Course. The course must be completed in this specified amount of time. When you're ready to start, press the button. Is that all? Or I always did a lot of obstacle Ranger. courses. Course starting in five, four, three, two. One. Go. Okay, not really sure what we are getting into. Forty five seconds remaining. Or what? Okay, interesting. Uh there's supposed to be probably one more spot where I'm supposed to toss this thing, but I'm quite sure that I'm lost. Yeah, I'm not gonna probably finish this course. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. Okay, what happens if we manage to do this on time? So interesting. Okay, I'm gonna try once more. Okay, that was kind of dickish. How do I get back? Okay, so one more attempt. Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Uh... Go. Okay. Sixty 
seconds remaining. But you know. No. Come on, raise it up. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to seconds remaining. take that other power thing with me. Okay. 15 seconds remaining. Yeah, 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 15 seconds. I think we did it. Did I, did I do it? Both complete. Congratulations, Rainer. Yes, okay. this isn't usually part of the course. Uh, I think there might be a it's new ability. Itself. happening here but I'm not gonna fire on them if they're not shooting uh, gold enemies are immune to Jesse's attack oh okay that's cool so we have means of attacking means of transporting stuff means of me falling because I don't see where I'm heading if I raise the shield now, okay, I just, I don't have to uh, hold the Q. Uh, although I'm not really sure how effective is this rubble on protecting me, or how long does it last. Let's just try to make sure this time I will not fall like a total idiot. But I'm playing this for the first time, people. I know that there's probably already some weird speed run for this game, but that's not my style. Okay, ah, this can actually hold quite a lot of... The problem is the low uh, HP that I do possess now. The angles at which they are shooting at me so I'm gonna have to probably go from cover to cover we have to let our power recharge okay so let's do that Let's raise this because I don't know if they're gonna be shooting at me from my six or not. Okay. So if I climb upwards, we are losing the shield. This is bad. So that means getting to high ground will be an issue for us. But we just got a brand new ability, which is a shield. Good time to have a shield. Now the question is... Can you actually shoot the shield at the enemy? I don't think so. I've tried it, but it's just not doing what I want it to do. And do the bullets deplete the energy or is it just me having the shield up? Uh, the biggest issue for me right now is the amount of HP I have. Yeah, so the shield suddenly just went down and I got killed. So this is not exactly my fault. It's kind of weird though that the, the damage from the training or whatever it was actually transfers. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I have to do this sh sh all over again. It doesn't seem like it. So I do have the it's shield. It's dangerous out here, lady. Go see Chief Arishi. He's just inside. He'll help you. Oh, here inside. Jesus Man. Christ. Hey. 
Chief Arish, FBC security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? No. They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah, Chief Arish, FBC security. I'm just... Oh, hang on, you're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> Uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. The Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. Okay, so all these guys do have these things. Online? She knows. She knows. I just wanted to make sure. There's some documentation. Uh, don't know what exactly is there. Home safe. Uh, no unique procedures required. Uh, the object is uh, guardhouse brand home safe. Weight measurements vary. When bound, the object allows per utilitarians to telekinetically gather items and debris from their surroundings. The object is currently bound by redacted. Background discovered uh, in the basement of a home in Redacted, Ohio, the object gained rapid interest in certain online forums dedicated to opening abandoned safes. After months of failure, the owner attempted to open it with explosives. The object survived with no physical damage. Bureau agents were dispatched now con confident of its paranatural nature. Blood occasionally emerges from seam around the object's door. Just confirmed the blood is not human. X-rays taken of the object indicate that something is trapped inside, though the images are always blurred, which indicates the contents of the objects are moving. All attempts to open the objects have been unsuccessful. Okay, that's not creepy at all. And do we have something else? Okay, threshold, ritual impulse. I don't even know what these things do. Uh, what is this? A launch, energy cost, energy recovery speed. Okay, we're gonna probably keep the one which we do have. Uh, we can change damage against enemy armor. Sounds reasonable. So now that the new segments are unlocked, we ain't out of the woods yet. Which one's maintenance? Okay, ventilation. I think we came from ventilation. Uh, so probably, if you would not be an invisible wall, I might be able to just move around. I, I keep hearing that weird noise again, and I don't know if it's navigating me towards something. Uh, coolant pumps. Let's see what the coolant pumps do. What the hell is that? Okay. Wait, wait. Are you trying to creep 
me the hell out or what, what's happening? Why are these things exploding upon death? Okay, what the... What the hell was that? Why am I... Again, almost completely dead. Where are these things coming from? So confused. Am I supposed to be shielding myself off or what's happening? You need some health? Okay. What the hell is this? I'm not sure if the telekinetic attack would do much. Coolant pumps. Okay. So we're gonna cleanse this area eventually if I Wow these guys have grenades Okay so that probably explains why there is an ability which will allow you to then keep tossing the explosives eventually unlockable I'm still not exactly sure what the hell is this stuff, but they surely do not seem to like it when I... Okay, they have the floaty guys, so I will have to actually shoot this guy down. From the previous boss uh, battle experience, we know that he will dodge every telekinetic projectile. at it okay let's cleanse the control point it is gonna start shifting the walls again and that's cleared out a road to the coolant pumps apparently furnace chamber as well is here and that seems to be extremely bright and yellow. Please don't tell me I'm gonna get demonetized because of some music here. Okay, toxic barrel. Okay, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that. The these barrels, I'm not sure what to expect with that. This is extremely yellow. So I trash did Atini barrels full of hazardous biological material. Seems like I'm breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal. But okay. if that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done. Burn the trash around the furnace. There should be therefore something more. Okay, we're still too far in order to pick this one up. And I need to reposition myself in order to do this one over there. Is there anything else? At least I'm gonna do a side objective since I'm getting killed and stuff. Oh, hold on. I did not know we can go down there. Why didn't I know I can go down there? How can I go down there? I need to find a way down there. And I don't don't see it. 
Oh, okay, here it is. So I definitely saw at least one of these treasure chests. And a shocking amount of biological stuff. Oh, we can directly toss this up there at least, so it's more conveniently placed. I'm gonna crack this one open. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to be looking for some other collectibles beyond the ones which I'm coming across. Anything else? Okay. You see? Documents. Why are there documents over here? Uh, loadout number... Yeah, these are just the launch efficiency modules. Okay. So let's go toss those two barrels. Should be somewhere around here, right? Where, where is the other one? Too damn yellow. Okay, two ability points received. So we should be theoretically able to go into our abilities. Uh, missions, collectibles. Where are these abilities? Come on. It should not be so difficult. Weapon mods. Missions, collectibles, correspondence, unread to a security matter. Uh, Federal Bureau of Control. Hey, Simon, I got your message. Yeah, if someone in the sector is asking about RT, just tell him you'll handle it and leave it at that. Under no circumstances should any person intervene with his day to day routine. I told you everything I know about him so you could better deal with his odd habits. But yes, it's still very much a classified matter. Also, I saw your report about the quarry worker who wandered into the foundation. Uh, detaining him was the right move. We'll figure out what he saw before we decide on the next step. A main turbine complaint. How do I. Okay. Uh, hey, Bozer, get this. The accounting department still says they haven't received my expense report. They say the receipts probably got lost in the mail tubes because of a shift of a trash hold or some such fuckery. And that if I don't have the originals, they can't verify my expenses for reimbursement. This is such a bullshit. Why do we even use these fucking tubes if they just split spit our mail out in some goddamn dimension? Okay, interesting stuff. And his charged. Yeah, what the hell is this? The his charged uh, agents are examples of uh, extreme physical deformation resulting from his corruption. His charged display an unthinking fixation on any non-corrupted individuals in the area, once within a specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focus hiss resonance, so dense that it acts as a physical force. The hiss charge is depleted of the hiss corruption. After this eruption, the host is left lifeless. This behavior might be an adaptive response to the HRAs. The hiss charge are designed to blow the device of potential hosts exposing them to the resonance is the his capable of customizing a corrupted host altered ability to this degree why is the psychology of the his charge so dramatically different from the host's original form lots of questions no answers okay well they certainly do freak the living hell out of me so i can tell you that now we're gonna probably have to continue through here into the coolant pumps. Okay, this does not exactly look like a building of sorts. I don't like that sound. Yeah, join the club, princess. This looks literally like a coral at the bottom of some ocean. I don't have to be 
careful here. Don't know how it spawned behind me, but okay. Let's keep it going. Be on a lookout for whatever might come from God knows where. Crow, Crow. go to shit. Fix, Fix it, it fast. fast. If the plant goes boom, we can throw the spoon in the gold. Okay. I'm just trying to be careful because this is too much of an open space. So once I start moving around, stuff can start escalating rather quickly. Yeah, I do see this weird thing, uh, which might mean I might need it for something. I'm sure this is gonna trigger some negative response, of course. No, we need that. have quite a large health if these guys decide to go this close uh, we are gonna definitely switch to the shotgun version of everything okay I definitely did see you I do apologize for my terrible aim Okay, I'm not sure if that did anything, the shield. Ah, uh, man. This is actually kind of freaky. Shockingly enough, I'm getting the same feeling as I did during the Resident Evil uh, Village playthrough. Although I gotta say, only certain parts were actually scary, then it turned more into like a looter shooter or some sort of weird stuff. Okay, so we are locked from the exit. Uh, there was one more of those power thingies. The thing is, I don't know where to install them. Uh, so I'm gonna have to look for some potential spot where I need to drop down this thing. There has to be a spot where it needs to go. Unless I find the spot, we are screwed. I think I need to drop it over there. I'm quite sure that's gonna spawn in a bunch of additional enemies. shot at I do hear the weird noises from those things okay nice 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 need to switch that worked okay let's reload Watch our flanks, and then We're gonna need another one of these somewhere. So let's look for a potential spot. There's quite a lot of these weird generators. Am I supposed to go from the other side? Probably. Let's take a look. Seriously, like these things are all over the damn place. My old enemy, the Glock, is blocking the pipes. What you is Glock? He is very clever. He is trying to sneak. He got more in his hand in the fist. Okay. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Literally looks like someone's boob did not flush. Okay. This is not creepy at all. What 
the hell is that? Okay, someone's suffering from bad case of the shits. Okay. So we need to time this. What the hell was that? Oh, Jesus Christ, I thought that was like some sort of enemy popped in. Or something weird. This is actually creeping me the hell out. And with headphones on, that's so much more fun. And I'm totally lost yet again. Oh, come on. I'm gonna die here because of some clogged toilet. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, well, where's the guarantee this weird stuff will not pop in back? Is it safe to even step on this? Okay, now one thing which now I'm wondering is how the hell do I get to this thing? This place is gonna come down. Yeah, all well, because someone flushed their Taco Bell. That's awesome. Okay, now we have the ritual impulse. Now we just need to find a way out of here. Because this place is not freaking the living hell out of me. I think we are headed the right way, but uh, I could be extremely wrong. Okay, there's documentation. I would totally not notice it. And now, what is to... There go the pipes. Nothing more satisfying than any Make me believe more enemies are not gonna pop in. Because the elevator is all red, so that's letting me know something bad's about to happen. There's literally someone on, on the elevator. I think. Please don't tell me it's the janitor. Oh crap, what the hell is that? That thing has a freaking minigun? Get some cover in here. I'm gonna need to put some distance between me and whatever the hell that is. Oh, come on. That should have worked. So now I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm still gonna die here. More projectiles. I really need to heal up. Problem is, I'm not sure which side this thing is gonna pop out of. Uh, probably throwing some of those explosive things might not be the safest idea here. Just because I don't know if the weapon can blow up whatever it is that I'm tossing at it. So let's at least heal up here. Well, at least good news is that it's absolutely inaccurate. Okay. 
This freaking thing has literally a mini gun. <sighs> That's fair. When can I turn this uh, pistol into like a assault rifle or something? So now we need to go and get to some energy converters. That's awesome. I don't know if it's the engine or, or what's causing it, but sometimes like the rendering of the, the faces and the terrain is just kind of weird. So I'm not really sure how to react to that. Ah, here we go, my old friend with the grenade launcher. Projectile did not kill that one. Okay, that worked out. Picking up whatever is possible. Beautiful. I think they might have killed that lady. Okay, so. Starting to think maybe the shield will be best versus. What the hell are these agents or these classes of enemies? Okay, it somehow was able to hit me without hitting me. I'm literally a tiny bit confused right now. Sit down. Okay, so unfortunately I think one person definitely died here. Although I'm not sure why she overextended herself as much. Is this guy still in here? Blockages and pipes see through. F. What what happened? The... When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. Okay. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the Hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? Okay. Arish? What do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador, the best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest, these are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. Uh, NSC power plant. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah. 
It's all part of the job. Service weapon. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. That thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Okay. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. And he probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Uh, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? Okay. I should be going. Right. You got a lock down to lift. So yeah, I think we're gonna cut it off here. At least I was able to die again. Or, well, I was able to re remove the weird poop that was blocking the cooling pipes. And now we are at a place where we need to deal with the energy converters and see what next is gonna happen. I'm getting this weird vibe out of the power plant, so we're gonna see how it works out. So if you did like the episode, give it a big thumbs up, and if you wanna see more, let me know either through comment section or check out the playlist, as by the time you might come across this footage, who knows, maybe there might be a bunch of more episodes uploaded onto the channel already. And if you want to support me, the best way to do so is to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This way you are updated on what new content is being uploaded onto the channel. And I'm going to wish you a pleasant rest of the day, and hopefully I will see you all at the next one. Thank you for watching, stay safe out there in the meantime, and bye bye for now. It's kind of freaky that they give me so much throwable ammo.